it's not just you social media and especially Instagram are going through a major period of change right now and mark my words in two years 80% of short form creators will have vanished because they were struggling to keep up well th this purge has kind of started to happen already lots of big creators are losing steam right now and they just have no idea why just in the past three months I've worked with some creators who went from 20 50k views on average on reels down to barely being able to scratch a thousand same thing for smaller creators by the way the 200 views a thousand views jail is not going anywhere because it seems like things are just a little different now which kind of sucks for me because a lot of the things i said just six months ago are just not true anymore so actually let me give, give you the full picture i've compiled a lot of data coming from 4.2 million followers gained among our clients over the past two, 12 months two months would be awesome and even more data from my viral hooks database which actually doesn't matter right now in the big picture but basically there's five categories and five overarching big shifts that are happening on Instagram right now. Especially the question whether you should start with a fresh new Instagram account. Cause yeah, we've done lots of research in the past and to give you the, the, the gist of it, basically some accounts seem to be stuck in some sort of algorithm loop and some sort of algorithm glitch. And up until a few weeks ago, I was actually the conspiracy nut job whenever I brought this up. But that whole thing quickly changed when her old friend, the head of Instagram, said the following about why some creators just don't seem to get any reach at all. There is some sort of bug and we are not valuing your stuff as much as we should and ranking, which definitely happens from time to time. Which definitely happens from time to time. Who's the conspiracy nut job right now? Just six months ago, he just said, we'll never ever is there anything wrong on our end. Now, here's the thing though, and you might be surprised by that. Based on my data, working on hands-on with lots of creators, you know, and creator mentorship, I wouldn't recommend starting a fresh account anymore, almost never. You know, because first of all, we can clearly see that they are aware of this whole thing, you know, just by him mentioning that. And even not even for this, we can clearly see it right now with the accounts that we work with. They 100% fix something internally. For example, just in the past four weeks, you know, really recently, we've had three clients blow up in my creator mentorship. By the way, applications are open for the next cohort starting on April 21st. Just so you know, we don't have a lot of spots open. But among all three of these creators who blew up had accounts where I was at least 90% sure that they're they're gonna need to start a new account. We usually go through a series of tests and steps in order to see, well, you know, should you actually start a new one or not? Just between you and me, the actual rate of our clients who came to us saying, I need a new account, uh, who actually had to start a new account was more like 15%, you know, just a few months ago. Right now it's almost zero. We're talking about accounts from 2013 and before with a few thousand followers and no engagement basically, you know, despite being consistent and despite having an okay-ish content strategy. Well, wink, wink, <laughs> turns out the content strategy was the issue, like so many times. One of them just recently crossed 20,000 followers the other day. Um, you know, another had a real go viral with more than a million views right now. So long story short, right now, there's almost no need for you to start a new account again. 99% of the cases, you can actually fix it with an actual good content strategy now let's talk about the one thing you guys are just crazy about for some reason and this one technically did not change per se but i still want to talk about this because the amount of instagram gurus you know swiping through my feed who suddenly come out saying well the sweet spot right now or the new sweet spot is 20 hash acts or more yeah, that's a new game and this is getting sort of out of hand and i wonder where they where they actually have this data from you know, probably one just made it up because they just wanted to have views and just say something totally different and everybody else just keeps copying it. Probably that is actually the, the reason why. But guess what, my friends? I actually have the data, lots of data. For example, my viral hooks database that contains outlier videos and viral videos across the board that we actually use internally a lot to do research. And I actually went ahead and tracked the top performing reels from my database as well as top performing reels from my clients. And guess what? Nothing has changed at all in terms of the hashtags. Turns out hashtags still don't really matter too much. If anything at all, they probably even matter less to be honest, but we're not going to talk about that right now. And if you still don't believe me, dear gurus, let me show you something. As you can see here from hand, first hand data from me, turns out most top performing reels actually have zero hashtags. 
right? And I checked. It's not just big accounts that get views anyway. It's actual outliers that get pushed out on the Reels feed. And by the way, if you disagree with me, please send me. Send me your data. Send me your insights. I'd love to know. But yeah, if you still want to use hashtags, because here's what's up. The other thing, it's totally fine to still use hashtags. And in some cases, especially for smaller accounts, they even help you a little bit. Just give you that extra little nudge. Don't use more than 10, right? I see most people just stress over hashtags. They spend so much time finding 30, 20 hashtags. Just come up with five, maximum 10. We can clearly see it here. More than 10 doesn't help anything. You know, less than that actually as well, but you get the idea. Which brings me to sort of a change to the old age old question. How many times should I actually post and how long should these videos be? Because there's been quite some controversy recently. I remember just a few months ago, my absolute recommendation was the more the merrier. I said to aim for ideally seven posts a week or one post a day in some niches it was actually more like 10 to 14. We've had some clients who had their engagement totally crushed when they went from three posts a day to two posts a day, which is just crazy, obviously doomed for burnout. But seems like right now, thankfully, we're going away from quantity, the sheer quantity and more towards quality, right? A little bit. You know, one thing I've noticed in the past, for example, was though, you know, and you've got to be careful with that. There seems to be some trigger if you post consistently three times a week, right? At least. You know, that's the minimum you should basically aim for. Ideally, just a little bit more, but three times a week, totally fine. If you know what to do with, with these three posts, obviously. And thank God these times are over where you need to basically stress over squeezing one post out per day, which by the way, you, you can still do. You know, it's not, not that it's actually bad. It's actually not the biggest issue too, because I also took a look at the optimum length of your reels. If you remember the game on TikTok has totally changed changed <laughs> you know we can make a video about that but essentially one minute plus videos get pushed out way more than usual on tiktok and lots of creators are thinking me included based on the past where we could see instagram just basically copying everything over from tiktok it should be the same on instagram more or less but it's not because if we again take a look at my data we can clearly see a big trend in videos of 20 seconds or less with a significant drop for videos of 21 seconds and more. If that's not something interesting, 100% correlates with my client's data. But here's the thing. First of all, you don't have to force yourself to create long form videos like I kind of said before. It kind of was taken the wrong way, to be honest. But right now, the game has clearly settled for shorter videos, which are obviously a lot faster and easier to create. So, you know, very good to get your posting frequency up, especially if you just start out to kind of give the algorithm a nudge and show the algorithm, well, I'm a creator. Show me to people. And it definitely shows you to people if you basically play the game right. But here's the little thing between the lines that we can see. As we know, people just copy from each other all the time. And people see short form videos perform well. And then what they do, obviously, they create short form videos as well. Right? That's just the nature of content creation. But, and here's the thing, we still have a lot of longer videos going pretty strong. And overall, the length of reels doesn't really seem to have that big of an effect on reach and views at all, which is kind of interesting. And I took a closer look and it seems like the only thing that really matters is creating good content that manages to hold people. And this is where we kind of clearly see a difference between TikTok and Instagram right now, because on TikTok, the bar is definitely lowered for longer videos because they just want to push longer videos because they're a new creator program. Instagram, for example, totally not the case. Instagram just wants to push whatever content's good. For example, and that's something pretty interesting, maybe even for an outlook to, to the future, this reel right here, which got around 1.6 million views, and it's two minutes long, right? Most people can't even post two minute long reels yet, right? They just slowly start to roll it out. But if we take a look right here, it's just, it just has a different groove, yet it got, got pushed out like crazy. Why? because it's actually super educational and it's basically a whole lesson on this one major problem a lot of photographers face. By the way, not at all retention editing. I actually believe if you start off with a fast paced edit, you actually set yourself up to you know, lose people faster because they expect to always have fast paced editing. If you start off slowly and kind of more intentionally with the scripting and all, you, it's just way easier to hold people's attention, but we're not gonna talk about this 
today. But another trend that I've seen with these longer videos, and I've seen it blow up more and more lately, is something also pretty unexpected for me, which is kind of good for the content world. But let's take a look at this video really quickly. You probably have seen iterations of it. Basically, right, if we were to group it into a category, it's a before and after. And usually these before and afters are on the short side of things, right? 10 seconds, 20 seconds maximum, right? They show one comparison, two, maybe three. But this creator, basically just took the same principle and just made a long version of it. Something that people were just totally afraid to do. Something that's basically goes against the grain of what everybody says right now, which is basically taking one idea and chopping it sort of into very short digestible pieces. Here's a short tip. You can actually do both. You know, have one longer version and then have three, let's say short versions of the long one. People are not going to notice. It's going to help you with your whole strategy. Obviously, you know, it depends on your audience and stuff like this. And if you want to actually join me personally and work with me and 29 other creators and my team will basically walk you by your hand from scratch to building a powerful content strategy that, like I said, exactly the same thing that got my clients a combined 4.2 million followers so far. We're starting a completely revamped special cohort of the creator mentorship in a few weeks. Just click here to read more about it and to actually secure your spot. Like I said, very limited. And if you want more Instagram growth hacks that actually work right now, here's the video. This is here. You should actually watch next.